back to that center and center. You can see the difference in angle. Much tighter crop. And we walk down the line. Compare the two. As we go to the Hey guys, what's going on? The best one, eh? And I'm just walking in some sand here and testing out the DJI Osmo Pocket as I'm walking in some sand and it's really, it's not even at all. Hey, take a look. I'll show you. Look at that. Look at what I'm walking in. This, this is all it right now. And, uh, yeah, I'm just doing a little, uh, just a little practice, not really practice footage, but some test footage to see what the DJI Osmo Pocket is like against my, uh, I have the, the Yi and the gimbal and I have the uh, Sony here. So just doing a little test footage. It's actually a pretty nice day today. Probably about 50 something in degrees. And as you can see there, it's a little, eh, a little bit on a windy side. So yeah, just doing a little test footage. And this will be inserted in the clip. The wind is picking up a little. As you can see there, the wind is picking up a little. So this is what it will sound like with the wind. A good amount of wind. This is what the audio is like with a good amount of wind. And, uh, I don't know, let's see. Hopefully, maybe that comes through clear. The hand is not blocking the mic, so hopefully it should be good. Audio sync. Just an idea of the difference of the uh, view you can see here <coughs> <coughs> wider perspective and with a few steps back you can get almost the same perspective as we see here and if we crop in that's somewhat near almost the same not the same but and for panning Okay, so a test walking in the sand between the Sony, which is here, and the DJI Osmo Pocket, which is there. So we're gonna just test the two of them to see what's the difference while walking in sand. A little panning get an idea of the two of them again walking in some sand obviously a much wider obviously a much wider point of view with the Sony due to be an action cam but this is more of a test of stabilization between the two to see what it's like
most cameras will have a hard time making out what I'm saying in this heavy of wind. But I guess this needs to be a decent test to see if you can hear me. Now some things that I noticed, wind just calmed down. Some things that I noticed, the, uh, the composition for the Osmo Pocket is, it's tight. It's a really tight composition compared to something like the, the Sony or even the, or even the, the E. The composition is like totally different. This is me vlogging with the, with the Sony and walking. And I didn't do this, I actually didn't do this comparison, but here you can see, you can kind of see the difference. You know, me vlogging with the Sony, you can see the difference of what you'd be able to see as compared to what you're able to see with the DJI Osmo Pocket. So I guess it just depends on what it is that you want in your frame. I noticed that I really do like how the Osmo Pocket's gimbal works. It's pretty smooth. Even when you're moving in circles like this, or if you have to pan down or up, it's pretty smooth. So that's just a few thoughts that I have about it. And uh, yeah, I really get it.